Have you caught my free masterclass, Write Your Novel or Memoir in Three Months Without Killing or Embarrassing Yourself? Because you can watch it right now by going to maryadkinswriter.com forward slash masterclass. It takes an hour and you will love it. I promise. maryadkinswriter.com forward slash masterclass. I hope you love it. Welcome to the First Draft Club, a podcast to help you write your book with joy, clarity, and maybe a few coffee stains. If you're working on a novel or a memoir, whether you haven't written creatively since seventh grade English or you have an MFA in creative writing, this podcast is for you. I'm here to help you fight through resistance and finish your draft. All right, I promised you I would talk about my four notebooks method of novel writing. And so here we are, the four notebooks method and how I came up with it. In 2018, I had my first baby. And that same night, I sold my first and only baby (laughs) so far. And that same night, I sold my second novel, Privilege, on proposal, meaning I had only written a couple of chapters of it and it sold, which meant I now needed to write the full draft of the book. I had actually written a a much earlier draft, but that for numerous reasons, that draft was now outdated. So I basically needed to write the entire thing from scratch. I was now the mom to a newborn, a first time mother and under contract to write a novel. And I found myself when I, when I decided to begin writing about six weeks after having the baby, I found myself staring at a blank computer screen and experiencing what I had heard others, other writers talk about before, but never experienced myself, which is just that paralysis of staring at a screen and feeling, feeling so daunted by it that I just didn't want to write. I just want, wanted to shut the computer and move on and do something else. Watch, watch the letdown on Netflix or something. And so I turned to Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way, which I had used before when I was creatively blocked and which was really useful. And once again, I found it really useful. Her tools, The Artist's Way is an incredible book. If you've never checked it out, her tools, um, specifically the morning pages where you write um, three pages stream of consciousness by hand every morning and the artist date where you take yourself on a kind of artist date each week had been especially helpful to me in the past. And what I found as I was doing my morning pages this time around was that I could use them to sneak around my ego and actually work on my book. So I would begin writing morning pages. And then at some point, you know, two or three pages in, I could start writing a scene and actually get the scene out on paper. And it didn't take long before I thought, well, I I, maybe I could just write by hand and not have to use this kind of roundabout way of, of getting into the scene. Maybe I could just com- commit to writing this, this book draft by hand. And so that's what I did. I decided I was going to write the book by hand and I, was, I set my initial goal as 10 pages a day and, and it worked. And it worked in a way that I, I found really incredible and, um, and really helpful for my creative process. When I sat down to handwrite, I felt more connected to the page. I found my brain sort of calmed down and was less distracted. I obviously wasn't having alerts pop up for my email and for Facebook. I didn't have the freedom to, you know, to to sit there and do something, search for, you know, pillows or throw, throw blankets at Target when I, when I wasn't sure what sentence to write next. It was just me and my pen and my notebook. And I felt like I had discovered this incredible new way of of writing. The problem was I didn't know when I had written enough to constitute a draft. You know, I'd never, I I didn't know how to translate that other, other than to do the obvious thing, which would be to count up the words I wrote at, at the end of every day. That was extremely tedious and something I was not going to make time for. So what I did was, was ended up basically figuring out roughly how many words I wrote on a a given notebook page on average. 
And then taking 70,000, which is a kind of solid length for a first draft, and figuring out how many pages of a notebook I needed to write to reach that number. And what I came up with was four notebooks. If I wrote on the front pages only, because I like to save the, the left-hand page for brain, localized brainstorming, kind of thinking, thinking ahead to what's coming up next, and, and some kind of local revising too. Um, you know, you can make tweaks on the opposite page if you have that space free. I realized if I wrote on, only on the front pages, so on the right-hand pages of four notebooks, um, four notebooks that had, these were large moleskins. So these were roughly 200 page notebooks. So basically on the front of, of 400 pages, 100 pages in each notebook. I hope this math is, you're following this math. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you. Then I would have completed a draft of 70,000 words. So on the front pages of four notebooks, that is actually writing the draft on a hundred pages of each notebook that would would come to for me based on how many words i write per page which is was about 150 to about 70,000 words and so it was pretty much by accident that i created the four notebooks method initially but it wasn't quite done yet because i hadn't really discovered the full potential of it i just knew that if i filled four notebooks i would have a, a story of the proper length but I hadn't quite realized the opportunity here in regard to pacing, to story pacing. So this is where the three X structure comes in, which I've been talking about the last four episodes of this podcast, rather actually the four episodes before the last one, I, I did a whole series on the, the three X structure, which you definitely want to check out if you aren't familiar with the three X structure or want my really simple breakdown of it. I realized there was a way to layer the three act structure onto the four notebooks I was using so that my story naturally paced itself according to the three act structure. In other words, I didn't even have to think about the three act structure as long as I knew what the story goal of each notebook was. I know, right? Very cool. So basically, I could create a story goal for each notebook, like just a general narrative goal. I'm not talking about a formula. I'm not talking about a prescription, just something to keep in mind in the back of my head as I was writing the notebook, writing my way through the notebook. And if I did that, my story would naturally pace itself according to the three act structure. I just want to pause here to say, one reason this has excited me so much is because I have since done some research into handwriting. I've looked into authors who also handwrite, and a number of them have. Um, definitely names that you would recognize, big authors who have handwritten one or even all of their books. And I've looked into research around why handwriting could be so effective. One study in particular I found that I just want to share with you. It was um, done at Indiana University, and I, I found it really fascinating. I'm going to oversimplify the findings here, but but basically the idea is that when we when we read, certain parts of our brain um, are recruited. So you know we use only we we use certain regions of our brain, and in the majority of adults, it's a, a predictable set of of quote, left lateralized neural regions um, that, that light up on, on, in MRIs when we read. This study found that when we handwrite, these same reading regions are responsive. They also light up on MRIs and they don't when we type. So Okay, what do we take from this? Well, I'll tell you what I, as a non-scientist, take from this. <laughs> what I take from this is something similar is going on in our brains. Something, something literally, it's it's you know, it's visible. It's visible in when we do brain imaging. Something similar is going on in our brains when we handwrite and when we read. And that and 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 it's something that is not that is not connected in the same way when we're typing. For me, that rings true. That, that feels consistent with my personal experience and why I now handwrite my novels. Um, I find that when I am handwriting, I, I, I feel that I am connected to the reader and to the reading experience in a way that I'm not when I'm typing. And it's one more reason why I'm 
so excited to share the four notebooks method with you. So the four notebooks method is based on this idea that you will fill four notebooks in order to complete your draft and that each notebook has its signature story goal. One issue I found in teaching this method is that my students could never be sure that they found the right length notebook. Because remember, I mentioned it's important that you only write on the front pages of each notebook so that you can have the opposite page for brainstorming and revising and that sort of thing. That requires having a notebook that has about 200 pages. And most notebooks don't, frankly, especially now. Most notebooks have have far fewer pages than that. And so I found my students would have to like be adjusting all of these numbers to accommodate for these smaller notebooks. So it's like, well, what if I have five notebooks and so on? So as people were struggling to find notebooks, I thought, well, what if I just design the perfect notebook for us? And while I'm at it, let's throw some other things in that make it really easy to use the four notebooks method. So icons in the corners that help you track your story according to the story goals, Um, numbered pages so you don't have to count up how many you've written or where you are, Um, lessons that remind you of what you want to be thinking about as you write your story that that are accessible by just a really easy QR code that you can scan with your phone so you can just watch a short video of me walking you through it quotes to inspire you as you go along and remind you that, you know, a first draft is just that a first draft and you don't have to sweat it too much and, and what you can, what you can set aside and worry about later on revision. So I created the notebook, which is now available for pre-order. And I am so, so, so thrilled about this. I have the samples already at my house. I am currently writing my next novel in these notebooks I'm obsessed with them. They are fantastic. And I am sharing the link with you today because I want you to be able to go there and check them out. You can order one if you just want to dip your toe in and experiment with the four notebooks method. You can order a full set if you're ready to commit and write your full draft with all four of them. They come with a whole set of video trainings by me. So it's not just a notebook, it's an entire system. And it's also, it comes with a discount off of my course. So there is a lot included beyond just a physical notebook, even though the physical notebook itself is awesome. I mean, it's like, it's beautiful. The colors are beautiful and it's really easy and lovely to write in. So I would love for you to go take a look at them for yourself. You can see samples on the website. You can see me holding them and using them and you can go ahead and pre-order your own notebooks. You just go to maryadkinswriter.com. That's Adkins with a D like donut. maryadkinswriter.com forward slash Four notebooks method, four spelled out, F O U R. Okay. MaryAtkinsWriter.com forward slash four notebooks method with four, the number four spelled out. This page is not accessible on my website right now. So you're going to need to remember the URL um, because I am not publicly selling these at the moment. They are available for pre order just for this audience because they will be shipping any day now and assuming things are okay with the Suez Canal, <laughs> they will be arriving by June. So you're, they're available for pre-order. And if you order now, you will get yours in June so that you can write your novel or memoir this summer. Sometimes people ask, well, can I use the four notebooks method without using these notebooks? Of course you can. And in fact, my students have been using the four notebooks method with notebooks that they find at Target or Walmart or Amazon or wherever for the last couple of years. I mean, you can use the method with any notebooks, but with this particular set of notebooks, I'll actually train you on what the story goals are for each notebook so that you can follow the 3X structure. And like I said, they're designed with this in mind. So you don't have to do any kind of a special, you don't have to do any kind of special adjusting around number of pages or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, they're made for you to, to finish your novel or memoir draft uh, specifically. But whether or not you end up learning the rest of the four notebooks method, the specific story goals for each notebook by purchasing a notebook or set or by enrolling in my course, I hope you still find this episode useful because you've basically learned 90% of what the four notebooks method is. You've learned how you can use four notebooks that are 200 sheets each and write only on the front pages of those, those sheets so that you're writing on 100 
pages in each notebook. And that if you do so, you will finish a draft by filling four of them. You've also learned that the length of this draft will be solid. It will be about 70,000 words, given give or take the size of your handwriting. But if you write an average size and an average number of words per notebook page, you'll be right around 70,000 words, which is a really solid length for a first draft of a novel or memoir. You've also learned the importance of handwriting and how valuable it can be to your process and how... You can even set your own story goal for each notebook so that you can pace your story according to how you want it to be shaped, regardless of whether you want to follow the three-act structure model or not. So I really hope today's episode has been helpful to you. Happy writing. Go check out maryadkinswriter.com forward slash four notebooks method, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to the First Draft Club. Subscribe and leave a review and I will adore you forever. And if you want to submit your own questions and attend these sessions live, you can join our community of authors by going to maryadkinswriter.com. That's Adkins with a D, like donut. And if you want to attend my free masterclass on how to finish your book in five simple steps, just go to maryadkinswriter.com slash masterclass. That's maryadkinswriter.com slash masterclass, and you can watch it instantly. Happy writing. See you next week.